It's the greatest spectacle in racing, and this weekend, the checkered flag will wave at the Indianapolis 500 for the 99th time. A local man has been to more than half of those races, too. And as WSBT 22's Zach Crenshaw found out, he doesn't have a finish line in sight. Michael Davis will never forget the day he got hooked. It just seemed like yesterday that I was sitting in turn one against a fence like this. My mom and dad were behind me, and I just got all the way to the fence. I held onto the fence and watched those cars go by for 200 laps. Yesterday, the number one song was Help by the Beatles. Was 51 years ago. The very first race that I went to, this is the 66 ticket stub. Davis was 13 at the time. So obviously I rode down with mom and dad. But by 15, he was on his own. We hitchhiked from the um, bus terminal to the speedway. Every May since, Davis has been at the speedway. Especially when they come around on the very first lap. At 50 years, I still get to, what's a chill? A chill he's shared with many over the years. I've introduced 60 plus people to the Indy 500. And he's got every program and ticket to prove it. Every ticket has a memory and to look back at my first year that I had seats, my price of the ticket was $15 and that was for a great seat and now this year the 15 has changed into 103. While some vintage tickets are selling for hundreds on eBay. No matter amount of money is worth it to me right now. Davis is holding on to his because they've been a lot more than pieces of paper to watch 500 miles. They're all as valuable as the other. They're just, well, you never replace memories. Michael says he doesn't plan on stopping his tradition anytime soon. Next year is the 100th running of the 500, and Michael says he's already looking forward to it. And, you know, what a milestone there. I love it. What a fun story, too. And I think the best part is to see his excitement still there from he, 50 years ago. Exactly. He says every May 1st he starts counting down the hours. And That's wonderful. I, it, it's so great in a sport that some people, you know, might say is boring with just laps. He's got such an enthusiasm for it. And, uh, you know, he also has the same seats for all these years. So when he goes there, he sees people he knows that also have tickets. And oh, it's a love they're for just him. a bunch of friends. So it, it's a great story. Yeah, the, tr the tradition, the pageantry, oh, all those years. Good can't, story. You can't beat it. Yeah, thanks, Zach.